bears like everywhere. Creepy. Magical. So I've been driving for about five to six hours every day for the past three days. Um, and I finally arrived to a really nice location. I've stayed at two other places previous nights. One of the places was so pretty and it was right next to a lake. Um, but unfortunately, someone else who was also at that spot had a really loud generator. It was so loud. It was like a motorcycle. I couldn't stand it at all, so I decided to leave and I came here um, and this place is so pretty. It's also next to a lake, but there's just a gorgeous forest and it's so quiet. So I'm really excited to be at this spot and there's also some firewood that was left here. So I'm gonna have a fire tonight, it's gonna be really nice. Um, and my van is complete chaos right now. Like, I don't know how anyone else does it, but just from like two and a half days of being on the road, it is complete chaos. It is so messy and stuff is everywhere. So I'm gonna clean up and set up and have a nice time. There's also some trails around here, so I might go explore those in a little bit. an ivy. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but the lake is so shimmery right now. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Somewhere in here, there's a coffee cup.
That tree is super slanted. Every time I film something, I have to put my cup back. <laughs> Isn't, isn't magical, I don't know what is. <laughs> Thank you.
<clears throat> well, I wish I could say I had a good night's sleep, but I kind of didn't. <laughs> so during the day, it was really nice to be here by myself. So there's no one here, and I had the whole forest to myself, but it was kind of creepy being here by myself. And there's so many creepy noises, and I heard this like really low, deep like grunting. And then it got me thinking like, oh my god, what if there's a bear? <laughs> and I heard it twice. It probably wasn't a bear. <laughs> Um, and I also got kind of cold. Um, it was only like 46 when I woke up around 6.30. But um, my front window was completely open. Like rolled all the way down. And I remember last night rolling up my window. But I guess I didn't roll up the other one. So it was kind of chilly. It wasn't too bad, but... Um, it was a little bit creepy and then I had this dream where I was in a field like a really big field and I was in a tent but there's no bottom to the tent and I was inside the tent and there's just bears like everywhere in the field and I'm inside the tent but I'm like walking with the tent over me trying to like sneak around these bears Anyways, that was, it was really kind of spooky. And the other places I stayed at the past other two nights, there's a lot of people in the campground, so it wasn't that creepy, but it was really creepy. And this forest is so quiet. It is super quiet. So I'm sure if I, if I, there was a bear around, I would hear it. <laughs> But there is all sorts of like, animal noises. There's owls. You can hear owls and random birds and stuff. Which was like, it would have been nice if I wasn't so creeped out. <laughs> Still really cold. So I think I'm gonna spend some time in bed more. <laughs> Change of plans. The biggest problem I was having was I wasn't getting any power from my solar panels. Um, probably because this forest is so lush, which was really nice, but all of my batteries are pretty much dead. My computer's dead, my camera batteries are dying, my phone's dying, my power station is on 6% and that's running my fridge. So I reserved a place about two and a half hours. Turn left onto the unpaved road. Uh, no, I don't think I will do that. Um, so I reserved a place about two and a half hours from here that has electrical hookup and a hot shower. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that and go there. <laughs> um, so I can just spend a day, which what I wanted to do today at this spot, but um, I don't have any power. I spend a day just editing and stuff on my computer. So. Ooh. I'm seriously only driving like 10 miles per hour.
<sighs> it's gloomy and cold. And I'm tired. So, I might take a nap. There's a massive bee, wasp, it is huge. I've never seen one that big, holy crap.